Williamsburg County Supervisor, the Honorable Stanley S. Paisley, as he comes. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. To uh, Pastor Underwood and all the other ministers who are taking part in this program, I bring you greetings uh, from Williamsburg County Council and Williamsburg County government and some 400 employees uh, that make up our government. Uh, I'm honored to stand before you uh, this morning in commemoration of the National Day of Prayer. Too often we forget about what the Founding Fathers and the, the, the meaning of National Day of Prayer and invoking God into our day-to-day -day lives. And with, with some folks thinking that the separation of uh, church and state means that we need to leave God out. But I, I want to commend uh, Reverend Underwood for the past few years facilitating this and all of these great uh, prayer warriors here this afternoon or this morning uh, who have come to help us invoke God uh, into our government lives and to our citizen lives. So uh, we pray and we trust that all of you as your citizens who have taken time uh, to come out that we can unite one another together uh, for the good of our community, the good of our county, the good of our state, and the good of our nation. And at this time, we will continue uh, with our program, and I'll turn it back over to uh, Pastor Andrew. We will now have our national anthem song by Megan Miles. Jesus Christ, 
made a divine appointment to be here with each and every one of us. And that appointment was so important that he kept it so that he might share his loving presence with us, so that his Holy Spirit might wash over us, so that we might recall the founding principles of our nation, that we are all created equal, and that we are a nation based upon the principle that in God we trust. And today we come together of one heart, one mind, one spirit, and one accord to allow it to be made known that we, the people of this great nation, have not forgotten you, our Heavenly Father. Yes. Yes. That we turn to you, yes. our Heavenly Father, yes. because human wisdom has failed us. Yes. And what we are asking for now is divine wisdom. Yes. Yes. Lord Jesus, pour out your Holy Spirit upon your people. Yes. Yes. Guide and direct us. Yes. Because yes, decisions made at every level of leadership, yes. especially those made by our national leaders, yes. have far-reaching implications and ramifications yes. for our people. Mm -hmm. And we pray that we, your people, yes. would take this moment throughout our nation today that we might fall to our knees, lift our eyes and hands heavenward, and ask, as we can only do from hearts and minds that are together and united, God, turn your favor back upon our nation. Yes. Yes. Hear our people as we pray. Yes. God bless America, yes. as only you can do. Yes. Yes. These things we ask and we pray together as God's people and yes. say, Amen. Amen. God, 
to, to do our jobs, to be that we need to be, to prepare our sermons, God, to, to God, to be that witness, God, to go forth, to give us that pastor's heart, to care for all people, God, God, to see, God, the loss, the, God, the hunger after the loss, God, to care for the lost, the hurting, God, those that are, God, to, to be the church, God, as leaders of the church, God, God, help every pastor across this land, God. God, we humbly, God, pray before you today, God, standing on this national day of prayer for our nation, God, to raise your church up, God. Help us, God, to be faithful, to be committed, God, to be sold out to the cause of Jesus Christ, God. Hallelujah, glory to God, to serve you. Hallelujah, to be that servant you've called each and every one of us to be. God, in the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen. 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 All I can say to that is hallelujah. Yes, amen. I just want to thank the Lord this morning real quick for the opportunity we have to gather together yes. in prayer and unity. And I'm going to be praying for the, the families, the workplaces, the communities, and the cities in America. Let us pray. Yes. Lord, I just want to thank you once again you. for the opportunity. Lord, I pray, God, for the, as I bring the families before you in America, Lord, I pray, God, the, the, not only the families, but the families of God. We know today, God, that family. That prayer, uh, uh, praise in the family that is pray, a family that prays stays together. Yes. A family that prays together, works together, lives together, as long as the family together can put you first and everything that they say and do yes. will stay together. And Lord, we pray for our workplaces, God. We just want to bring our workplaces together. Make a wor our workplaces a family of prayer where we can become united, one together, one for all, Lord. Yes. And let, God, let us in the workplace to begin to put you first. Yes. Lord, the devil has had enough, had his way with this world and our workplaces. The devil has caused nothing but confusion here and there. But God, I just thank you, Lord, that today we can come together and put you into our workplaces. Yes. And Lord, as we bring the community before you, Lord, this morning, I pray, God, that you would just go out in the community, Lord, and let the community in, the, in our cities see and realize that we need prayer, not only in the church, but in our families and in our workplaces, God. And Lord, as I bring the cities of America, without prayer this morning, America is going to fall. Without prayer this morning, America will never make it. But Lord, I'm glad that, that you're bringing prayer back as unity and with one another, starting with the families and in the workplaces and then in our community. We'll make one nation stand together with, and not be divided, Lord. We, Lord, tonight, we know that you're soon coming. I pray God once again that you just prepare us to let you put you first in everything that we say and we do. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Praying on all nations of people. And my um, prayer is based on Ephesians 2 and 14. For he, meaning Christ, is our peace. And that our, is our peace. That means that he came through what we, and that came through what he did on the cross. Mm -hmm. Who has made both one, meaning all people, Jews and Gentiles and has broken down the middle wall yes. of partition between us, yes. between yes. Jews and Gentiles. Let Amen. us pray. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, yes, Lord, as we come before you this morning, Lord, we come to say thank you, Father God, realizing, God, that you have no respect of person on today. Realizing, oh God, that you is God that know all of us, Father God. Father God, you said in your word that you know our thoughts are far off, God. So God, we know that you know us inside and out. Father God, we thank you right now, Jesus, for you have brought us from such a mighty long way. Father, we thank you, Father God, for we know that you have made us fearfully and wonderfully made, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, we ask that you have mercy upon our souls. Father God, we know that you are the first and you are the last, oh God. Father God, you have the last say so over our lives, oh God. We ask that you teach us how to love one another, oh God. In the mighty name of 
Jesus. Father God, teach us how to forgive one another in the name of Jesus. Father God, we realize, oh God, that you have no respect of person, oh God, that you love all the same, God. Teach us how to love our neighbors as we love ourselves in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, teach us how to have sympathy, Father God, and understanding for one another, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we pray now, Father God, that you will multiply among us love, oh God, and peace within our souls, oh God. Give us protection, oh God, in the name of Jesus, because we realize that there are people, oh God, who have no thought of one another lives, oh God. But God, we made us father you made us father god and lord not only that teach us father god how to walk right father god but you said in your word father god in all our ways that, that we acknowledge you that you will direct our path and we thank you for direction right now in the name of jesus father god you said in your word father god that we can ask anything of you today without doubting or wavering oh god and you said you would give us our hearts desire lord so we ask that you pour love in our spirits oh god love upon your people oh god in the name of jesus because we realize it's going to take love father god because you went to the cross oh god and you hung, bled, and died, Lord Jesus, that we will have love in our hearts, oh God. We thank you, Father God. Teach us, oh God, how to put on the whole armor of God, that we may be able to fight against the walls of the enemy, oh God. Because we realize, God, that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and against the wives of the devil and wickedness in high places. And God, we thank you now. All in Jesus' name we ask. Amen. 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 Good morning. Good morning. This morning you're going to join me in praying for the next great spiritual awakening here in America. Would you claim with me this verse in 2 Chronicles 7 14? If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and I will hear, heal their land. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, we are gathered here this morning proclaiming to be your people. We have been bought with the ultimate price, the body broken and the blood shed of your precious son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we enter into your presence humbly yes. desiring for, your, for our holy God to forgive us of our sins. Yes. God, search our minds and hearts to see if there be any wickedness within us yes. and grant us yes. your grace and mercy yes. as we commit to turn away from these sins. Yes. Lord, we praise that, that you in this moment, uh, you are faithful to hear our call. You yes. draw close to us and desire to make your yes. presence yes. known. Yes. Father, we yearn for your movement. Yes. We yearn and call out for revival. We yes. acknowledge that apart from you, we are nothing. Yes. Apart from yes. you, we are left yes. hopeless. Yes. But yes. Lord, we yes. know that through a right relationship with you, you will forgive our nation's sins and you will hear, heal our land, Lord God. Yes. Bring revival to the yes. United States of America. Yes. Yes. Open the hearts and minds of yes. your nation's leadership. Yes. Bring about a spiritual awakening like never before, God. Yes. Lord, we desire as a united church to see thousands of people yes. come alive through the salvation that comes yes. through a relationship with Jesus. Yes. We stand and sit in this room in anticipation, yes. in a movement of the Holy Spirit yes. upon the hearts of your people. Yes. Lord, we are ready, God. Transform this community and leadership yes. Yes. so that we might pave the way for this spiritual awakening. Yes. Give us the voice and a platform to make your name known yes. among the nations. Yes. Yes. God, you are great and worthy to be praised. Amen. Thank you for giving us another day yes. of life Lord. so that we can make your name known, Father. Yes. We ask all these things in the powerful name of Jesus. Amen.
Woke up today, another headline, another innocent life is taken in the name of hatred. So hard to take, and if we think that it's all good, then we're mistaken, cause my heart is breaking. Are you left? Are you right? Pointing fingers, taking sides. When are we gonna realize we all bleed? We're more beautiful when we come together. We all bleed the same. So tell me what, tell me what we're divided. And if we're gonna fight, let's fight for each other. If we're gonna shout, let love be the cry. We all bleed the same. So tell me what. Tell me what we're divided. Tell me who are we to judge someone by the kind of clothes they're wearing or the color of their skin? Are you black? Are you white? Aren't we all the same inside? Father, open our eyes to see we all bleed the same. We're more beautiful when we come together. We all bleed the same. So tell me what, tell me what we're divided. If we're gonna fight, let's fight for each other. If we're gonna shout, let love be the cry. We all bleed the same. So tell me what. Tell me what we're divided. Only love can drive out all the darkness. Yes. What are we fighting for? We were made to carry one another. Yes. Yes. We were made for more. So only love can drive out all the darkness. What are we fighting for? We were made to carry one another. We were made for more. We all need to say we're more beautiful when we come together. We all need to say. So tell me what.
president all the way down, yes. Father, everyone who works for our government, yes. every in the federal, the state, the local levels, Father. Yes. I just bring them before you in the name of Jesus. Yes. And Lord, I ask you just to pour your wisdom out yes. upon them, yes. Father God. Yes. I pray, God, that the divides that are in our governments today, Father, that you would heal those divides, yes. Lord. Yes. That they would realize that we're coming together, God, as one nation yes. under Lord. God. Yes. And Lord, that we're seeking you, one nation under God. Yes. And Lord, that we are no longer divided as a people, but we are come together as a unified body, as a unified people, God, that is seeking, Lord, the betterment for yes. your people, yes. Father. Yes. I pray, God, that our local officials, our government officials, Father, will no longer seek personal gain, but God, they will seek for the betterment of our people, Lord. I pray, God, that they will no longer put their needs first, but they will put the ones that they serve first, Lord, because, God, they are servants. They are elected to serve your people, and may they come to recognize that in the name of Jesus. And, Lord, I pray for all those that volunteer, Lord, that are um, first responders. Lord, we just ask your protection over them. We thank you for them, God. And, Lord, I just ask a hand of protection over them in Jesus' name as they serve their communities, Lord, around this nation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I've been given the honor to pray for our military, our service men and women in the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, Marines, and we also remember our National Guard and our veterans. Let us pray. Father God, I just thank you for who you are and all that we are because of you. Thank you for that unconditional love that you pour out upon us daily. Thank you, Lord, that your mercies are new to us every morning. And Father God, we thank you for the men and women that have said yes to be in these armed forces, Lord yes. God. Yes. We thank you for divine protection. We thank you for their families. We thank you, Lord, that there is a shield of protection around them when yes. they're on American soil and when they're on foreign yes. soil. Lord, you are the protection from dangers, from things yes. seen and unseen. And we yes. thank you for your angelic hosts yes. that surround Hallelujah. each and every one of them, yes. Lord God. We pray, Lord God, that you continue to place that hedge of protection, that fort, fortress around them as they risk their lives for us from day to day. Thank you, Lord, for the people and the family support to the military as they keep us safe. Lord God, we thank you that you know, and we know that you're a God of war, you're a God of battle, you're a God of peace, but you are also a God of victory. So, Father, we thank you. In Psalms 91, how we pray that over our forces of the military, Lord God, that they can hide under the shadow of the Almighty, that you protect them, Lord God, even when they're not even aware of it. Father, we thank you for the families that support them while they're in this battle. And Father, we just thank you for your promises. Your word even say that if our lives are pleasing to you, you'll even make our enemies be at peace with us. Father, we pray for the Commander-in-Chief of the United States of America, Donald Trump. And Father, we know that you have placed him in this position for this appointed time, for such a time as this. We ask that you continue to give him godly counsel that surround him, that give him clarity, and continue to give him vision for this United States. Father, we know that you have changed hearts of kings. There's nothing too hard for you. You are the author and finisher of our faith. We trust you, God. We thank you for that military. Thank you, Lord, for continuing to order their path. Thank you for continuing to cover them. Thank you for giving them divine protection. And, Father, continue to let us pray for them as they continue to protect us in this United States. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.